2020 is a garbage year, but there's actually some good news now. A breakthrough for peace in the Middle East. This is Ryan Morrow from the Clarion Project. The United Arab Emirates has officially made peace with Israel, and four, maybe even five, Arab countries are expected to follow in their footsteps. Bahrain, Oman, Morocco, and Sudan seem very likely to make peace with Israel. And Jared Kushner says it is, quote, inevitable that Saudi Arabia will sign the Abraham Accord. And if Saudi Arabia makes peace with Israel, the majority of the Sunni Muslim world will do the exact same thing. Think about all the clerics, all the mosques, all the Islamic foundations that are funded by the Saudis around the world. All of those Islamic institutions will have to support the Saudi position on this, or they could potentially lose their funding. But what else could very well happen in the near future? What if the Iranian regime falls? If the Trump administration continues to maintain sanctions on Iran, it's very possible that could happen. The regime could implode, there could be a civil war. And if the Iranian regime falls, all of the terror proxies that they fund in Lebanon, Iraq, Yemen, Gaza, and elsewhere are, for a lack of a better word, screwed. The Iranian-backed forces of hate will be stuck in a downward spiral, and they won't be able to get out of it. And peace will advance as their tide recedes. I can't believe I'm saying this, but we actually just took a giant step towards peace in the Middle East. And although a lot more needs to happen, and Turkey, Iran, Hamas, and the other bad actors can cause hiccups along the way, and they will, the trend is clearly in favor of peace right now. When was the last time you ever said that? That world events were in favor of peace. Of course, there will still be jihadist terrorist groups. It's going to take a very long time for the Islamist extremist ideology to die and the anti-Semitism that comes along with it. But their strength and appeal will quickly become weaker and weaker. It needs state support and a friendly environment in order to survive and in order to spread. Middle East peace and something kind of resembling victory in the war on Islamic extremism can actually be envisioned now. And we've never had that before. But of course, we could very well do something stupid and screw it up. I'm kind of expecting it. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for updates. I'm Ryan Morrow from the Clarion Project. Thanks for watching.